Alright. Time to get up. Lazy bones. Come on. Come on. Come on. Voila. That's how we do it. <laughs> So we've had some requests from a few of you for a uh, little tour of our mini mini mansion. No, our uh, tiny abode, our ultra tiny. Uh, so we're gonna show you our 1965 Kenskill trailer and uh, what it's like living in it. So we got our rescue ficus covered up for the winter. Our little mini patio, which is not covered yet. Here's our mud room, literally two feet by two feet. Enough room to put boots and lots of coats and let everything dry. Here's our back couch slash bed, slash lounge, slash Carolita's office. Um, up top we've got storage, all the back computer backup stuff, printer, camera gear, and our lazy cat, Ash. Has her own window. She has her own window. Hmm. All right. This is the challenge of taking off the boots in such a small area we usually do this one by one while one of us waits if we're both um having to come in i know those the slapstick side the comedy side of it was uh the both of us at the same time coming in trying to take off our boots but in actuality one of us stays outside while the other one um you know gets all prepped and even ready even if it's raining even if it's raining and cold mm -hmm. and this is Gito's uh, smaller cage which she is actually comfortable and she, well because she always is pretty much on this opens up and a perch uh, sits across and she sits outside of her cage inside here when it's better weather she goes outside and she sits outside of her cage and it's all up to her she wants to stay inside it's her nest this keeps her warm this little um, fuzzy wuzzy thing uh, she loves snuggling up next to it, but she considers this a nest. Um, she re doesn't require much at all. And that's that. I'm lucky in that way. So for now, she's she's actually pretty happy, huh? Huh, G? Alrighty. And then she's got an electric blanket for at night. <clears throat> all right, Carolita's office. We've got our new UPS computer battery backup because every once in a while during a storm we get a power hit. Um, we got cabinets above the table. Yep, and we keep our dishes, um, bowls and dishes on one side with tup a little bit of Tupperware containers. And, and you got your glasses and tea setting here. And then the table oh, is my desk uh, with all the computer stuff underneath the table makes for great leg room but it works yeah all oh, this is right now we have the electric heater there but um it usually sits out here this little sucker here does wonders and keeping this place warm and toasty 
We have two Wi-Fi hey. networks for two different satellite internet providers. Viasat for slow and steady, which I use for work, and Starlink Beta for fast, but it drops out about 50% of the time because of our trees and our slope. Here is another one of Indy's spots. So she has a blanket here that she sits with Scott while he works. She likes sitting with him while he works. And if she's bored of him, then she hops back over here. Go ahead. That's her blanket. So she lays here while Carolina sits and works there. Yo. So, all right, here, our kitchen area. Oh, all right, hold on. Here we keep all the pots and pans and bowls and chips, all the snacks. And then here we have the litter box, which has been awesome because um, instead of tracking litter, we came up with a system where we have the larger paper pellets on the top and on the bottom is the the corn clumping pellet um, and then so the urine goes through and then that clumps and then I just separate clean up the bottom clean a little bit of the top and voila no tracking of uh, litter anymore so that's been awesome this is a when there's mud it's muddy outside and rainy outside um, this is to clean um, Indy's paws. So for tiny living or any, actually, any time you have a mud room and stuff, you just put her some water and soap in there and put her paws in there and scrub, 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 and voila, she's clean. You don't have to put her in a sink or anything. But here we hang her, their, um, Indy's coats and sweaters and leash, dustpan. So that's the pantry. This is our little fridge. Got, uh, Plenty of room. So most of our food is in the bus. Here's the freezer. So we got our fruits and ice cream. And, um, but most of this food is in the freezer and fridge in the bus. So, and we have storage in the bus for our dry goods too. But we bring whatever we need for the week and put it into this little fridge, which runs on propane and um, electrical. So it's got both and it's good for when you got power outages and stuff. So this still thing, this thing still works. Here's the silverware drawer. Over here is our dry goods drawer, our cabinet. So and the canned goods. And here's the pet department as well. It's all the pet department stuff. Um, and over here underneath this seat, so underneath this cushion, Scott want to show behind Gito's cage, you'll see it's a furnace. So we're, we're using the electrical, but because this furnace is good for backup and it actually works as our drying clothes system too. It dries our stuff. It's a blast furnace. Yeah, it, it blasts. When it's on, it's super hot, and when it's off, it's cold. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it, it's just, we prefer the electric uh, to, to heat up the place, but we use this to, if I give Indy a bath, this is awesome. It'll dry her up so fast and dry up our wet clothes. And so that's um, what we're using it for. And then of course, back up. Uh, and then under this cushion, the seat is, whew, gosh, the lighting. All right, under this cushion, we have the drawer full of our tools so that's what that's for it's pretty deep so pretty um, far in and then here is our nifty 1965 magic chef oven it's really small and cute but it works um it still works <laughs> still have to light up the um this the oven when we use it so it's kind of eh, hanging in there old but school. everything yeah it is very old school and underneath here we have, you know, more um, utensils and so forth, you know, uh, Tupperware shit, storage stuff. And then behind where the litter is, is the wheel well. And uh, let's see. All right. That's our kitchen, a little oil lamp, which, which we don't use. Another storage where we put our fruit and onions and potatoes. Um, our herb rack. Um, here's our fancy schmancy toast and blender area, 
our sink, which is awesome double sink. And this is the what I use as the dry area, drying area, our wash area. And then this we I use as a cutting table. So I just take this out and it usually goes like this. But because I use this as a drying area, I basically go like this and I get my cutting board and I use this to cut veggies. And I will clear this up and put a strainer in here and put all the, you know, whatever veggies I'm making, salad, I put it all in the strainer. Okay, here we have our water heater right there, um, covered in styrofoam. And let's see, this is pretty nifty here. <laughs> God, it's even work just giving you a tour. <laughs> Sweating. Here, this little nifty thing. It's a pull-out rack for towels. That's our dish towel. And then under here, we have plastic bags, full of plastic bags that we, you know, we don't buy plastic bags, but we reuse them. So from like cereal bags and stuff, we reuse them for trash. And then um, we don't use um, Ziplocs or bags or anything. So we use... Um, veggie bags for keeping salad so instead of plastic bags these are awesome um they're like burlap type style and they keep your lettuce and leaf leafy stuff lasting a long time once you you moisten them up you wet them up and then put them in the fridge um and then underneath we have the alternative to ziploc bags and saran wraps and stuff like that um here so behind this table we have the bathroom this is our bathroom as so we put a long rug in there we still have to like get stuff that's good for this uh, trailer this is all stuff that we already had and we just utilize it as best as we could so we hang our bath towels here to dry because in the outdoor shower no way there's no way this will dry <laughs> Um, if anything, it'll click mold. And then here you have our little sink area. Um, hot, cold is separate, which is fun. <laughs> um, really hot, freaking cold. <laughs> here we have our, uh, our cabinet of our personals. And then here as well, you got your band-aids and tissues and toilet paper and so forth. And let's see. Oh, okay, so I can turn on the light. Huh? We got two lights here. There, that way you can see it better. Yeah, it's a cute one. And it's a flushable toilet um, connected to a black tank. So we're hoping for long term we're going to go ahead and hook it up um, to a plumbing system. No more black tank. So the mean? black tank is hooked up to the septic system. It's just kind of a intermediary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's our whole living space. And... I know we kind of joked around um, about how it is to live together, two people with three pets, but we have managed. We had, we did get to a point where we were, we we got to a pit of a little bit of a pit of despair, despair, depression, and just because it was just the whole learning lesson to live like this this tiny the roof is leaking it's bad when things go wrong you know because it's already tough and a lot of work living like this when everything is working fine but when things go wrong it goes wrong so um then you feel it and it takes a toll on you sometimes but for the most part uh it's been pretty awesome pretty pretty neat um it's a freaking strong trailer for being so old <laughs> Uh, and there's, Ash has been doing great. She's usually wanting to go indoor, outdoor, but she's not been begging to go outdoors. And basically I think it's because we have so many windows, as you can see, we have so many windows, super cool and, uh, great views. So yeah, we're pretty comfy. Oh, and underneath the bed. We have more storage. This used to be where the battery was, and holy hell, to get that thing out, took some destruction of our bed platform. Um, yeah, that was fun. Now we have blankets, but... They built the trailer around the battery. Yeah, they, I don't, I didn't understand why they did that. Um, but, anyways, here's her scratching post, here's... Um, Scott's drawer and here's my drawer. So where do we keep our clothes? <laughs> um, 
that's another chore. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and show you how we um, live the other half, the other part, so that way you can understand how we, um, you know, where our clothes are and uh, extra food. And we'll show you that next. <laughs> You enjoyed our humble abode and uh, we'll be hoping to I know we're gonna what do you think we're gonna live here another year probably in the trailer probably yeah, probably but hopefully so, we'll have a roof over it yeah so the plans are a roof over the trailer with patio um, a, a up what do you call laundry it? room laundry room bathroom and a storage workshop in the back of yeah those are our priorities. That's what we want to build this year, and uh, we'll go from there. We have to look for contractors and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. So, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll keep you updated, obviously, on social media, and let you know how how things are going. So, thanks for following us and supporting us. We really appreciate it, and. Uh, we hope we inspire you guys, scare you guys. I don't know. If we scare you, make we're you sorry. Laugh, make you laugh. If nothing else. But we hope we inspire you guys to just make these little changes in your life to minimize and um, make a positive improvement on uh, a positive impact on this planet. All right.